Hi folks, we hope you enjoyed episode one, which discussed dinosaur soft cells under the light microscope. And uh, we wanted to let you know that we're going to do another episode of dinosaur cells, but this time under an electron microscope. And behind me you see my scanning electron microscope. And so in a future episode, we're gonna take some time to talk about the microscope, to talk about the specimens, how we have to coat them in gold, and all of the particulars that go into preparing specimens for electron microscopy and how we shoot the images. So stay tuned and you'll see a wonderful episode of Dinosaur Soft Cells under the scanning electron microscope. It can take upwards of 60 to 80 hours to prepare one specimen for electron microscopy. They have to be totally dehydrated and water free and then affixed to a metal stub and then coated in gold. But we'll cover all this in the episode when we discuss scanning electron microscopy. But if as we zoom in on this dinosaur bone, you can see one cell and one tiny little philopodia that's 250 nanometers in width. That's a 10,000 magnification. So stay tuned, we'll have a wonderful episode discussing dinosaur cells under the scanning electron microscope, and we'll look forward to seeing you then.